string inverters vs micro inverters vs power optimizers. If you consider a solar panel system for your home or business, one of the key decisions you need to make is the type of inverter you want to install. An inverter converts direct current (DC) electricity generated by your solar panels into usable alternating current (AC) electricity. Most appliances inside a home or business use AC electricity. There are three types of inverters that are currently available for solar energy system: string inverters, power optimizer systems, also known as string inverters plus power optimizers, and micro inverters. String inverters are by far the most commonly used inverter, but power optimizer systems and micro inverters have gained market share over the last couple of years, mainly due to the reduction of costs. Power optimizers and micro inverters are typically more expensive than string inverters and are often collectively referred to as module level power electronics. These systems allow you to monitor the power of each individual solar panel. So let's look at the difference between these inverter options. String inverters. String inverters are the most cost-effective inverter option available. Traditionally, solar companies would propose a string inverter if your roof had limited shading throughout the day and did not face in multiple directions. How string inverters work? Solar panels are arranged into groups connected as strings. You can connect multiple strings of panels to a single centralized inverter, which transforms the DC electricity produced by the panels into usable AC electricity for your home or business. String inverters is very reliable and a tried and tested technology, but it may not be suitable for certain types of installations. Although modern solar inverter and panel technology allows individual panels to continue producing power even if part of the panel is shaded without module level power electronics, string inverters can only optimize power output at the string level, not at the individual panel level. This means string inverter systems aren't always the best solution for homes that are prone to heavy shading throughout the day. However, the ease of installation and lower price point make them very attractive to many homeowners and installers. One of the most common reasons for individual solar panels to produce less power or stop producing power as a string is due to shade. If your roof experiences shade throughout the day, you could either remove the source of the shade or install the panels in a sunnier space. Micro inverters. Micro inverters are rapidly gaining in popularity, particularly for residential solar panel systems due to reduction of cost. How micro inverters work. Micro inverter are typically installed on the back of each solar panel, and they convert the DC electricity from your solar panels into AC electricity on your roof, and there's no need for a separate string inverter to do the DC to AC conversion. In most cases, installers mount the micro inverters onto the back of the solar panel itself. While power optimizers aggregate the electricity from your panels and send it to a string inverter for the DC to AC conversion, micro inverters make the DC to AC inversion right at each individual solar panel and allow you to monitor the performance of individual solar panels. String plus power optimizers. Power optimizer systems offer many of the same benefits as micro inverters and are often considered a compromise between micro and the standard string inverter. How power optimizers work. Systems with power optimizers have an individual optimizer component located at each panel. However, instead of converting the DC electricity to AC electricity right on the roof, they condition the DC electricity and send it to a string inverter for DC to AC conversion. If your roof experiences shade during the day, the panel level optimization afforded by power optimizers results in higher system efficiency compared to using just a string inverter. Similar to micro inverters, power optimizers not only reduce the impact of panel shading on system performance, but also offer panel level performance monitoring. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to this channel.